Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Uh, before we get into the actual video, it's only days away. Please make sure to get yourself some tickets if you can to come through to Stennis Muir this Sunday to see the Scottish YouTuber charity match. Also, if you can't make the game, there will be a link below where you can just donate money to Sam H. Charity uh, for mental health, suicide awareness, stuff like that. If you can't make it, any donation would be greatly appreciated. It's for a great cause. So if you can do it, the two links will be in the description. But if you can make it to the game, it would be fantastic. Get that ticket count up. All the links you need will be in the description. So... Today's video, um, after a horrendous week for Celtic, you could say, um, it's about one man and one man only. And uh, as you can tell by the title of the video, we're going to be talking about Dedrick Boyata. Dedrick Boyata, a player who I have been very vocal about throughout the course of two years on my channel. Um, I've always came on here and I've gave my opinions. I've never been a massive fan of the guy. He struggled to get into the team at first under Brendan Rodgers and then he got that break. He came in, had some fantastic form behind him. And then when he did become that, First name in the team sheet at the defence all the time. He was always in the team. Brendan Rodgers installed so much faith in him. Gave him so much to help his career. Uh, re, you know, kind of revitalise it back to a standard of which gave him some notice. Got him to the World Cup. Brendan Rodgers done so many favours for him and kept after numerous mistakes as well. After all the bad times he kept him in the team, Dedrick Baya has decided now to basically quit Celtic, to basically throw everything away that Brendan Rodgers and the club has given him because he can't get his way, because uh, Celtic see him as a defender they want to keep, but obviously Dedrick Boyata is now wanting to leave. Um, a lot of things surrounding it now, uh, and we're at the point where you know it looks as though there's no way back for him at Celtic, and we'd be better off selling him. Now, my opinion is Dedrick Boyata has never been class, he's never been great, he's never been what Brendan Rodgers sees in him, I've always struggled to understand the um, the faith that is installed in him constantly, because I feel like he's just not that great, there's been times and time again where he's made a mistake, silly error, leading to goals, Ibrox was really the pinnacle of that, we, we, we went on and won the game, fair enough, but that mistake he made that allowed Josh Windash to score the first goal of the game, really did for me solidify everything about Dedrick Boyata and, and it wasn't the first time there was just too many errors in him and I've never seen it I always seen him as a good player to keep a good player to have and someone who was probably better than the majority of players we had at the club but we always had to improve on him so he gets picked for the World Cup plays a couple of games against Panama and Tunisia uh, which raises his stock a little clubs start to take notice of him and then now he thinks he's bigger now he thinks he's bigger than Celtic and the famous quote as goes is no man is bigger than Celtic no man is bigger than the club and uh, Dedrick Bayat has completely and utterly ripped it to the point where even legends such as Bertie Alders came out and spoken and said it's a disgrace, shouldn't be allowed to play in a Celtic shirt again. You heard Chris Sutton the other night, shouldn't be allowed to play in a Celtic shirt ever again and I completely agree. Um, the attitude and the the way he has taken the whole situation, he's blown it way out of proportion, he's completely ripped it and he's made an utter arse of himself. I'm not trying to be sour towards Dedrick Bayat. Fair enough, if you feel like you're better and you want to move, do it in a, a, a justified manner, do it in a manner which, you know, Kind of justifies the player you are. He, he's sitting there thinking to himself he's fucking Sergio Ramos. I said his name so weird there, Sergio Ramos. He thinks he's thinks he's so much better than what you know he actually is just because he got a couple of appearances at World Cup. We've, we turned down a bid from Fulham apparently for about £9 million. First of all, I don't think we should have turned down that bid because £9 million for Dedrick Bayata is an absolute fucking bargain on our part. It's daylight robbery, um, I would suggest, because he's not worth £9 million. For only getting seven million pounds for Stuart Armstrong, we're getting nine million for Bayata. I don't know what the board and what anyone else in the decision process was thinking when we turned that down. We turned down that move, and then Sevilla apparently had interest, and we're turning that down as well. And that's what's triggered Bayata to hit this state of fucking absolute rage. And uh, not why he plays, you know, apparently injured. When Brendan Rodgers says he's completely fit to play the game the other night, if he was there, would he have made a difference? Probably would have, because Jack Henry and Joseph Semenovic between them are um, incredibly, incredibly shit. Um, and maybe Dedrick Boyata would have been able to make a difference in that game maybe we wouldn't have been out of the Champions League but no he's threw his toys at the pram and for that I just don't feel like he should be back in the team but originally we should have accepted that but now we're at a point where how hard is it going to be for us to attract a player of decent enough quality uh, to come to Celtic we've lost one of our main draws and that's the fact we have Champions League football that's gone that's gone so now we have no replacement for Dedrick Boyata that I think of a sufficient quality we need to search far and wide you know, we're getting li linked with the, the likes of S Scott McKenna. I'm hearing McKenna is one of the players we're interested in. Is McKenna really, really going to be good enough to come in and step up to be a Europa League standard player? Maybe. My money's on no. My money is on no chance. I don't think he's going to be a player who's going to come in and have the quality to, to guide us through a Europa League campaign. Uh, as as well as maybe Boyata would. As, as much as Boyata's got the flaws that I talk about, I still think Boyata's a better player than Scott McKenna. But now he's completely fucked it. 
He's fucked it for himself. He's lost a lot of respect from the majority of fans. I think every Celtic fan in unison would agree it's time for him to go. And we should accept bids now if they come in. But it's going to be difficult. We've already turned down bids for him. So how many more bids are we going to get? Because no one's going to up over £9 million. And I don't think we're going to get an offer like that again. Premier League season started. Fulham probably um, will realise they don't need him. Unless they are having a disastrous start. But they can always get better. They can always get a better player than Dedrick Boyata. There's no doubt about that. Through the Premier League money. Through the first half of the season alone, they'll probably make upwards of £9 million. Through television money. Um, so they can always get better than Dedrick Boyata and now we're at a point and there's a player who doesn't want to play for the club a player that fans don't want to see play for the club uh, he's just landed himself in an utter mess and he's not helped the club whatsoever he's landed us in a situation now where we only have I think there's only one decent enough centre back at the club and that's Christoph Eyer and, and even at that he is still very raw he's a guy who started his career as a striker he got moved back to centre mid and then he got moved back to centre back he's not an all out centre back yet with Bags of quality. I still think he's the best centre back at the club. But I mean, is it good enough for a Europa League campaign? We've seen how good enough we were the other night and last week. Weren't good enough by a landslide. Now we're in a horrible situation. Well, I don't even think Peter Lowell's willing to spend the money on a centre back. And yet we've got this greedy bastard, Bayata, who, who probably wants a wage rise which will not be justified. Not be justified. God knows how much money he'll be wanting because off of Fulham he would have probably been getting, what, 40 grand a week? Celtic are never and should not give him 40 grand a week. Never in a million years. He's not a player who justifies that wage. There's little players who justify that wage at Celtic and he is definitely not one of them. So if he wants a wage that he thinks is suitable, he's not going to get it at us and until then is he going to be happy to put on a Celtic shirt and are the Celtic fans going to be happy seeing him a Celtic shirt after this? He's got a lot of making up to do if he remains at the club. He's got a lot to make up to Brendan Rodgers because I feel like he stabbed him in the back completely after the amount of faith that the guy installed in him for absolutely changing his career around. A guy who was rejected by Man City, came to Celtic and, and, and looked hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. And I still think he is, to an extent, hopeless. But Brendan Rodgers definitely did help his career out and got him to the fucking World Cup. Brendan Rodgers is solely to thank for that. Because if he never got into that Celtic team, if Brendan Rodgers did not give him the chance in the Celtic team, there is no way on earth he would have been playing in Russia this year. No chance. I don't care who you ask or what your opinion is. If Brendan Rodgers did not give him the chances that he did, he wouldn't be there. God knows where he'd have been. But he wouldn't have been in the fucking World Cup. I, I don't understand his whole thinking around this. He thinks he's bigger than Celtic. He's a bang average centre half. Who in the Premier League would probably struggle and be shown up time and time again. If he went to Sevilla in the fucking Liga BBVA, he was showing up time and time again, I guarantee it. Because he's been showing up far too many times in Scotland, in the European stage, and in domestic games. He's just not good enough. And the agent has not helped at all. The agent has been a fucking sly bastard with the whole situation. And um, now it's just, it's just a complete mess. A complete mess. God knows what Celtic have to do. We've got two weeks, two weeks, to decide to put our hand in the pocket and get a centre half. Is it going to happen? I don't think so. I personally don't think Peter Lowell's going to look that hard. If we do, we're going to get slapped with someone who is going to take work to, to get better. And we're going to end up with a Jack Hendry. That's what we're going to end up with, in my opinion. We're going to end up with someone of that quality. Someone who is miles off what we need. We were linked to the likes of Fabian Shaw, um, who's away to Newcastle now. We fucked up that one. Maybe the wages were the issue. Well, we were linked with Umpty. We were linked to that Coat Z guy last year. That fell through. Disaster after disaster, we, we finally got a centre half in Marvin Comper, who is now apparently going to get paid off. So there's another disaster, and Dedrick Bayata is not helping. He's put himself first. Uh, he's not put the team, his teammates, his manager, and anyone at Celtic, the fans. He's put everyone behind him, and he's thinking of himself in this scenario. I'm injured, I can't play. No, you're, no, you're fucking fit, and Brendan Rodgers has said it. Um, useless. I, I, I mean, for the, the, for the little kind of love that I had for Dedrick Boyata you know those gradual good performances that he has time and time again make me go maybe I'm wrong about Boyata that's just been completely set back now that's just been thrown all fucking away because I was starting to like the guy I was starting to think maybe we do have a decent centre half in Dedrick Boyata maybe he's not as bad as what I always make it to be and then he goes and flushes it all in the pan throws it all away I know we're in a mess but in the Europa League and we could potentially be playing the Europa League with Christopher Ayer fair enough and either Jack Henry or Joseph Simonovic that's not a pretty thought. Not a pretty thought whatsoever. In my opinion, we need to try and offload Boyata. We need to get money, whether it's five, six, seven, eight, nine million pounds. And we need to reinvest it quickly as soon as possible. Find someone who wants to play for Celtic, wants to play in the Europa League, and is going to give us a decent shift. And uh, I think that's going to be very, very, very difficult. 
but we can only try. So let me know your your opinions on Dave's but I feel a lot of people are just going to share the same opinions as me. Um, but the guy's fucked it for himself. Uh, and it, when it gets to the point of legends like Bert the Old or saying similar, then um, there really is no way back. But we'll see. We'll see how things go. Maybe we will keep him. Maybe we will want to put a Celtic shirt again. But uh, I don't think many people are going to welcome it. But we'll see. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you all next time.